And so, let's open the settings app to see what we have today. Super, 9 dots, in settings. And alternatively, super and start typing. Okay, let me tile this so I can fit. And let's go to the application settings. And now we have this sidebar with the applications, that I don't really like because we're losing the parent navigation. And I don't think GNOME likes that either. And ironically it will work more correctly from design point of view on smaller screens. And then, we have some more issues on this panel, like the fact we can't see the individual app permissions, which is actually the original point of this panel. We have the built-in permissions, but not things like camera and microphone access. In some extent we could do that from the privacy link, but it never really worked. And also? Look how broken is the go back navigation, that becomes even worse with nested menus. Anyway, let's see the mockup. It isn't really new, but most likely an excuse for me to make an easy video and get all the revenue in the world. So, the first change we get is that applications are now displayed on the main panel. On top we have the default applications, that I guess are the pre-installed system apps. And we need to click that box for expanding it and see them, which is probably logical since usually we don't really need to change things on those. Next we have the search box, and having it on the middle is kinda a new design element. Probably to not be confused with the global app search, and also it can only perform search on the user apps and not on the defaults. At least I guess from this design. And finally and most importantly, getting inside on some app, and we now have all the requested permissions that we can easily disable per application. And all those may are cool or may not, but it was never the point of the video. The point was always about...